mezzo alla natura. Questo mi ha colpito molto, mi ha colpito soprattutto come le, le opere d'arte possono trasformarsi nel tempo. In base appunto al tempo, se piove o nevica, non so, cambiano nel tempo, le rendono anche più belle magari a volte. E questo mi ha dato un sacco di ispirazione per quanto riguarda il lavoro che ho fatto qui. Siamo abituati a vedere le opere d'arte quasi impauriti, no? a non toccarle, a non, magari a non sorridere nei musei, però qui è davvero interessante come interagire con le opere, come le guardi in modo diverso. Dancing Museum in Atacella. Uh, has anything uh, struck you about this experience? Um, a few different things um, different, in different ways. Uh, the, the, the different approach to visual art here in the nature is, uh, is very different than in a museum. How the spectator observes or takes in the artwork is different. The way the art exists in the space is different. Um, and it, it can... Here they're, they're not only creating artwork for the statement of their artwork in space, but they're, they're making it to exist in the landscape of the place. Uh, so you get an artwork that has a message on its own, but then it also frames, it gives you a perspective on the landscape around, which is quite beautiful, because there's quite beautiful landscapes around. Uh, when it comes to dancing museums, what strikes me the most now is the how much work we will need to do on the balance between the different aspects of the project. Um, the, the engagement of the museums, the engagement of the dance houses, the engagement of the visual artists that are a part of it, and the engagement of the dance artists, uh, performance artists, choreographers uh, that are a part of it. Um, Finding, because we're, we're looking to find what the, what the value is or what kind of new perspective performance puts into a museum context, or, and also what uh, perspective shift it makes on our performances. Um, but through the process, both the dance houses, the museums, and the artists that are involved all need to find a way to look at their 
structures and the way a creative process takes place um, and try to find a balance between the the rigid structure of an institution and the formless structure or the, the formlessness of the creative process and this is a, a hard thing to find and we're, we're just finding out now I, I guess uh, what the beginning of that image looks like how to balance what uh, the dance houses or uh, programmers need uh, to fulfill their societal role. Uh, what, how to facilitate the artists. Um, how the artists can survive uh, the process and find a way to invest their work inside of these structures and institutions, each individually and in what they find interesting. Are you connected yet? And which are your needs as an artist? Time and space, which is a difficult thing to come by in 2015. <laughs> uh, yeah, time to to not only eat the information and digest the information, but uh, time to disengage and to throw my consciousness somewhere else so that I can have l life that comes back into the project. Uh, this is something that can be difficult to find when you're looking straight at the project for a, a long amount of time. Or, or also in the other residencies will have very short short amounts of time. So how how do we find this balance?